Alright, so I switched the experience share over to uh, my Gengar because Gengar is now the one who is pulling a Prescott. Uh, Myrtle doesn't have any good moves besides Thunderbolt. I'm really hoping I get Shadow Ball somewhere along the line here, or at least another good attacking ghost type move because the only one I have so far is Nightshade, and that really isn't doing it for me because that only does like a set amount of damage. So I'm hoping that uh, Myrtle will get something good pretty soon. So, wow, we're getting pretty close here. Next will be the Palm Tree Resort. Then we just have all this stuff until we get to Darkwood Town. Then uh, the Two Knob League is right over there. So we are uh, quickly making our way towards the end of this game. And let's see, there are some Scraggies over here. Yeah, I got Kazumina out front just because... Uh, she is falling behind in levels pretty badly, so uh, I guess I've just been relying on everyone else more, and I don't know why. I mean, Kazumina is like my homegirl. I don't know why I haven't been using her as much. I guess I just wanted to get everyone else to have a chance, but anyway, you can find uh, Galvantula, and you can find Leafeon here. Some pretty powerful mons. I should probably catch them, uh, but... I don't know. I I don't know why I haven't been just catching things that I see that are cool. I guess I'm just not really the type of person who does that. Plus, I don't have very many Pokeballs right now. I should probably fix that. Because I've got some good money. And I actually know how to get more of it. Because <laughs> for the longest time, I didn't realize that uh, you could rebattle trainers. Like, when I first played this game. So that's how I ended up, like having zero money, and then just the beginning of this game, I just lost a lot of money by spending it random places. But now I think I'm finally fiscally responsible. It's about time, so let's take on this psychic lady here, who's looking into the future to see her inevitable defeat. There we go. And an Alakazam. See, that would have been the perfect time to use Shadow Ball. If I had it! Oh my goodness, I'm being a meme now. Quoting memes. I guess that's my that's my skill. I'm a meme quoter. So we can take care of this Alakazam here with my very high special attack. And, oh, so this is like the actual forest down there. Is there anything... Wait, there is an item I could get. And a Flaffy. It's pretty cool. Um, how did I get to that... Is there any way to get to that item up there? Oh, well, that's not even an item. I don't know why I wanted to go back there. I just saw that clearing and I was a little bit suspicious. So here we are in the Espo Forest. And I like these uh, grass tiles. They're pretty cool. It's got a very verdant green look. So here's Grady. The name Grady just always reminds me of gravy. And then I want some mashed potatoes. Please, just give me some mashed potatoes. I want some. I'm so hungry, I didn't have lunch. I've been doing this huge, long recording session. Because I'm trying to uh, get enough episodes out and made so that I can be covered for my trip. Because I'm actually taking a trip, a youth servant trip, to New York. And by the time this comes out, it'll probably be almost over, actually. It's sort of sad to say, like... Because I always hate when uh, you haven't even done something yet and you're already looking forward to when it's over. It just makes me sort of depressed, you know? Like when, uh, like before you're even out of school for the summer and your teacher starts talking about the next school year. It's like, no, just stop. I don't want to think about next school year when this one isn't even over. It just makes you depressed. I don't know, I just have a deal with that. Or maybe I'm just too sensitive. What do you guys think? Am I just too sensitive? I know I am pretty sensitive, but... I don't know. That just really irks me. Oh, no. No, sir. We are not doing any of that. No shenanigans like that. I was actually doing a Nuzlocke on my own. And I guess I wasn't paying attention. And someone used Destiny Bond, and it killed one of my strongest Pokemon. It was really irritating, so... I just went and got Pokeball so I could catch these things, so why am I not doing it? Uh, will a Psychic knock it out? Nope. So 
so there we go. Um, it's for you, and maybe... I don't know how easy these things are to catch, because usually Steven just gives one to you. And yeah, it looks like they're going to be a pain. Oh, goodness. Um, well, no harm in continuing to try, I guess. I have some timer balls. Those might work better. Or not. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure. I don't think I should waste all my Pokeballs on this thing. But it can't be that hard to catch. Like, seriously, this thing isn't a legendary. It's only a pseudo-legendary. That means it's a fake legendary. Faker. Just calm mind, I guess, while it uses takedown. Whittles down its HP a little bit. Maybe getting it into the red would be best. Let's go to Tasty here. Take a little bit of that pounding. Go to Cosmina. You know what? Whatever. I don't have time for all of this. This is taking too long. Three long. I wonder when I'll be able to get Ultra Balls because that will help a lot in this pursuit of catching the balls. And wow, that was so close. Pretty soon it's going to be struggling. I'm already struggling. I'm on the struggle bus. I've used up almost all of my great balls that I just bought. And now I have used all of them up. Come on. Come on, timer ball. It's been like 80 million turns. You should work. I don't even know why I'm, up. I'm putting myself through this torture, but whatever. Whatever. I'm. I started it, so now I must end it. And then go buy some more Pokeballs. <laughs> All right, Pokeball, go. Nope. You're my last hope, Timer Ball. And wow, that was really dumb. That was so dumb. Why? Why did that not work? It was only level 24, like seriously. It should be it should not be that hard to catch. So anyway, I need to restock now. I don't even remember where I got those timer balls. So yeah, I'm slowly whittling down my money once again, as I am apt to do in these hard economic times. I mean, seriously, a hotel room costs a million dollars for one night. This is like Germany after World War I. You have to have a wheelbarrow full of money just to get a loaf of bread. It's like insane. And no, no, I'm not doing anything with you, sir. I do have to get that item, though, that I completely missed when I was in my rage of not catching the bell dump. So toxic, that's pretty nice. I could probably teach that to slow, uh, slow king. You will battle me! Well, it's true. Glimmer. Wow, it's like... I've seen, like, two people in this game so far named after Hunger Games characters. That is weird. If we find a Katniss somewhere, I'm just gonna be like... I'm gonna flip out. I mean, these could be coincidences, but... I don't know, once I see a Cadmus, that is not going to be a coincidence. So, Myrtle is level 42 now, but still no good moves. I am sad. Go away, Ralts. I already have a Cosmina. I don't need you. And I should have used my Repel. I totally forgot about those. Aren't I smart? So let's use that there. Now we can head through here without any trouble. Oh, it's you, Josh. Come here, I want to tell you something. This shrine was built long ago in order to provide offerings to Mew, who is believed to live here. It's so relaxing and peaceful here. If I were Mew, I'd live here too. Earlier today, I challenged the previous champion, Gray, and defeated him, which means I'm the new champion. Wow, spoiler alert, jeez. 
Now that I'm champion, I have more duties than ever before. I'm worried I won't be able to deal with trouble like Team Fusion anymore. Did you feel that? It's happening again, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no no. Blake, Josh, it's good to see you again. You act like you expected us. The odds you'd meet us in two different places are incredibly large. It's... Well, as far as I can tell, I feel... I can feel disturbances in the fabric of space-time. Anyone can, really, if you focus enough. But I have to tell you something important. I was doing research about anything that could link the Pokémon world with this one, and I stumbled on something about 50 years ago. A newspaper article was printed about... No! The portal's about to suck you back. The article said that a pink... There's no time to lose. We can't wait for you to get your seventh badge. We have to go to the Temporal Tower now. I have a hunch we'll find what we need there. But first... Ooh, thank you. I'm sorry to drag you into this again, but two people can do the work of one much easier. Honchcrow, use fly! Hmm. Seems quiet, but I better check. Whoa, so we are on this island here, about to head into the Temporal Tower, but I think this will be a good place to start off next time. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Glazed. I will see you all next time. Math Pikachu, out. Man, I love cliffhangers.